entire community is begging the federal government not to punish one of its only doctors. He is accused of Medicare fraud, but locals argue he is guilty of nothing more than a mistake. Our investigative reporter Ben Hall questions whether the government is going too far. It's all over the news. A national crackdown on Medicare fraud. We will find you and you will pay a very high price for what you have done. Federal agencies tout the number of doctors they've caught and the amount of money they've saved. Well, we'll get you on the table here. But at the McKenzie okay. Medical Center in rural West Tennessee, some believe the government has gone too far. I was shocked, yeah. I had no idea that these problems existed. Dr. Brian Merrick has practiced in Carroll County for 30 years, but he may be forced out of business. So it's going to basically end my medical career at the age of 62. I'll be 62 tomorrow. The federal agency that oversees Medicare has accused him of fraud and is threatening to revoke his right to bill the program. They claim he submitted bills for treating 10 patients who had already died. You would agree that sounds bad. It does. It what? does initially. Merrick insists these were just clerical mistakes because some of the thousands of patients he sees have the same first and last names. He says a billing clerk hit the wrong button and charged Medicare for treating the dead person instead of the one who was alive. Still, he says the billing errors only amounted to $670. So would you yeah. jeopardize your career for $670? No way. Merrick is the only doctor certified to read echocardiograms in all of Carroll County. And he's one of only two internal medical physicians. What are we going to do if we lose him? It's hard to recruit doctors to rural Tennessee. The Carroll County mayor is begging the federal government to reconsider. It seems more like they're wanting to make an example out of someone than actually correct a problem. The McKenzie City mayor sent Medicare a letter stating lives will be lost if Merrick is no longer able to treat the patients he's seen for decades. It will devastate this community to lose him. Federal rules state a doctor can have Medicare billing privileges revoked for claiming to treat more than three dead patients. With the approach they're taking, they're going to hurt a lot of good doctors to get rid of one bad doctor, maybe. Merrick said the vast majority of his patients are on Medicare or Medicaid. If he can't bill them, he will have no choice but to close. A tough way to end his long career. It may tarnish my reputation, and I, and I don't deserve it. I, I did not personally or professionally do anything wrong here. Medicare says it cannot comment on this open case. It says Dr. Merrick can appeal and any suspension would only last three years. But for Dr. Merrick, he says that would effectively end his career. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigates.